running. Get there he is. Blood, gore, intense, violent, news. Just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hey everyone, hey. welcome back to another tabletop adventure here at Digital Woods. Today we got a 750 point battle report between Necrons and Tau. Figured I'd give them a try in the higher points range in the yeah. actual game, not the uh, kill, team. kill team. Didn't quite go too well for you last time. No. It could have gone great for you. It could have, but then dice. Yes. So it should be interesting to see how Mike runs Tau. And I'm, it's been a wee bit since I ran Necron, so... Switching it up. Yep. So we're going to get to the armies and get to the action, so we'll see you in a bit. Hey! <laughs> Alright, folks, this is going to be my 751 points of Necrec uh, Battalion. I do believe I said that incorrectly, but we'll continue on anyway. Starting off, I've got a Catacomb Command Barge. He's got himself a War Scythe, a Tesla Carbine, the Relic Lightning Field, and you'll have the Warlord trait, uh, Skin of Living Gold, making him a pretty hardy target. Moving on to my second HQ choice, I've got a Cryptek with Staff of Light, and the Cloak, the Canoptic Cloak. Yay, not having enough points for the other one, but the Canoptic Cloak is pretty good. Anyway, moving on to my troops, I've got two five-man squads of Immortals with Tesla Carbines, and one ten-man squad of Necron Warriors. Moving on, I've got one Triarch Stalker, and it's got twin heavy Gauss Cannons, and my only fast attack, not fast attack, it's a Flyer, uh, the Night Scythe. And that makes up 751 points of Necrec Battalion. All right, so here is going to be my 750 points of Tau, a Broken Step. And let's get in with the HQs. So my uh, Warlord is going to be the Kadra Fireblade with all of his standard kit. And his Warlord trait is going to be through Unity Devastation. Next down the HQ train is going to be the Ethereal uh, with his Honor Blade. And he's going to have the Relic of Pure Tide uh, Engram. Next up is troops, where I've got two identical units of strike teams, uh, each with six models in them, uh, carrying pulse rifles, markalites, or a markalite, a guardian drone, and a pulse pistol for the uh, Sashui. Uh, next is a slightly less kitted strike team of only five units, five models, uh, with pulse rifle, markalite, and the guardian drone. On to fast attack where I've got a group of five Pathfinders, uh, all, or three of which are carrying Ion Rifles, two are carrying Markalites and Pulse Carbines, and lastly, that group has a Pulse Accelerator Drone. All right, next on to Elites, where I've got two identical groups of Stealth Battle Suits, each with six uh, models in it, uh, and they're going to be carrying two fusion blasters, and four uh, burst cannons for the uh, total. And they've also got five support systems that are velocity uh, trackers, and then one drone uh, controller for each of those groups. Uh, next on the line for elites is going to be a fire sight marksman with a pulse pistol and a markalite. And he's going to be, I guess, bringing with him a uh, heavy support shield or sniper drone. So that's going to be my uh, 750 points of town. All right, and here we are deployed for our Eternal War mission, Roving Patrol, from the 2017 chapter approved book. Uh, in this one, it forced us to separate out our armies into groups of three, and then randomly select one of them to be your starting units. And then starting on turn one, some units can arrive. And at the end of turn three, any remaining units that are still in reserve automatically arrive, having a random roll for it. There are three objective markers on the board. At the end of the game, there were three victory points for whoever's holding them. And a point uh, aside from that, there's First Blood, Slay the Warlord, and Line Breaker. Mike got a decent number of his all, his, well, all of his stealth suits out and his sniper team. Yep. I got my Warlord and my Stalker out. Uh, and... In reserve, I have the Night Scythe with both units of the Immortals inside of it, 
And for my other, I have the Cryptek and the Warriors. Basically, same thing with all the rest of Mike's stuff, because it doesn't really matter what group they're in at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, true. All right, so uh, whose turn is it? Yeah, uh, we will have to roll to see. Uh, I got the plus one. Hmm. As you uh, started deploying with four units, and I started with two. Yes, you definitely do. Seven. Damn it. And I will definitely choose to take turn one. All right, I will attempt to uh, deny. With a four, it does not make it. Yeah. Eh. Okay, movement for turn one for the Necrons. Um, Stalker stayed put, and my Catacomb Command Barge went flying up. And I don't have any targets within range to do my will be done because I have no infiltrate on the board. But that does remind me I need to do a bunch of rolls to see what comes in at the end of the movement phase. So, Cryptek on a three. Yes. The warrior squad that's near him. Yes. And the knight scythe with the two groups of immortals. No. All right. All right, I need to put them down on the board, and we'll get back to it. All right, and the reserves arrive over here, staying within six inches of the table, any table edge in my deployment zone. And, yeah, being right there. So going on to the shooting phase now. I'm going to start off with the Stalker firing at the pretty much the only target that he has currently in range. Those lovely stealth suits there. Yes. So I'll be taking a minus one to hit because of his stealth suit's ability. So I'll be hitting on fours. Ooh, both hit. Oh no. I am strength nine on this gun, so wounding on twos. Both wound. Those will and be... Two six ups. Yep. No. All right, D6 damage a palm. And I'm going to command point that, because oh. I'm pretty sure there are more than one wound each. Damn. So that's one dead. And two that's dead. That's two dead. All right, yep, two gone. All right, next up is going to be the freshly arrived warriors. All ten of them are within range of the squad there, just barely. So I will be having ten shots, hitting on four, so the minus one to hit, because they're stealth. And now re-rolling ones, because of the stalker's ability. Well, that is a few ones. Five straight misses, four ones, oh. and one four. Oh. All right, well, that could have been way better, but <laughs> it kind of clawed itself back. <laughs> and strength four versus tough four on the stealth suit, so force to wound for three with AP minus one. Okay. So it'll be your three up saves. Yay, three ups. You failed one. No. All right, and then the last thing to shoot is going to be my warlord there. He's got three shots from his Tesla cannon going into the stealth suits there. And he's going to be hitting on threes because of minus one. No Tesla. And we're rolling once. Well, they all hit at least. And then wounding on threes because strength six. Well, one wound, and you're going to have a two-up save because of cover from the yep. crater and whatnot. So, two up. Still failed. Do you want to spend a command? Yeah. Point? Okay, he lived. Um, oh, no, your dude's not on the table yet for you to be able to gain uh, a yep, command I point. I cannot gain that back. Okay, well, that's it for shooting. Charges to declare. He is going to obviously charge in. All right, and then uh, Overwatch for me. All right, so for Overwatch, I've got eight... Uh, Shots from the burst cannons going in, hitting on sixes for none. Sad face. And then two shots from the fusion uh, blasters hitting on sixes for none. Okay, good rolls for me today. Your charge. Fair enough. Going in. I think make seven's it. enough. <laughs> Absolutely make it. All right. And at the start of the fight phase, because I'm now within one inch of those guys, the lightning field activates on a four-up. That unit suffers a mortal wound. Yes. No. Down goes the guy with one wound. Bleh. All right. And then his actual attacks, because you still have stealth, I have a minus one to hit. So I'm hitting on threes. For two hits. 
Strength seven, so wounding on threes. Oh, none. Okay. Uh, you gonna command point any of those? Let's see. You lost three from the unit. Yeah, I'm gonna command point one. Let's see if I just get take one out. All right. Yeah, wounded on a three. AP minus four. You don't get the bonus from cover. So at this it just point. goes through. Goes through, and take two. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, it's just one more dead. From me, Warsith. Blech. All right, so my attack's back. I've got five, uh, two from him, three from the leader-ish character. So hitting on sixes, because he's hard to hit already. So none. Woot. And then I believe that's the end of your turn. Yes, uh, morale. Yes. I think you're, what, leadership seven? Probably. All right, so morale. So I lost four from leadership eight. So uh, on a five or a six, I lose one more, one or two more. No, I'm good. You're fine. So on to Tau, turn one. All right, so movement for the uh, the Tau for turn one. I had these two. Uh, retreat from combat, uh, just to get some shots in, and this whole unit moved forward, uh, it's base movement, ready to also put some shots in. Hopefully it works. Uh, didn't move, and now to see what else comes in. On a three up, let's go with Kadra Fireblade. Yes. Coming in. The Ethereal. Coming in. Uh, one of the troops. Or one of the upgraded troops. One of the six men. Yeah, one of the six men coming in. Second of the six men coming in. Last of the troops coming in. Uh, the Pathfinders. Yep, Pathfinders. Everyone's coming in. All right. There you go. That's my whole list. Yep. Let me just uh, deploy them. All right, so Tau end of movement phase now. <laughs> Um, now that all the guys are on. Now that all the guys are on, I made a firing line down here. Managed to get some of the Pathfinders up on the hill for cover. And uh, the last, that five-man group is just over there getting some shots in as well. Um, yeah, so on to shooting, where I'm starting with all of the Markolites ever. But, so, Kadra Fireblade throwing his Markolite into the Catacomb Command Barge. Uh, on a, what, five? Four. On four, because of all of his hard to hit, and he moved, and all of that. Yeah. Yes, he hit. And then I'm going to spend a command point on uplinked Markalite to uh, get D3 plus one. Uh, more Markalites. For mm. one. Do you want to spend a command point to reroll that? That will be your only reroll for the shooting phase. <clears throat> This basically gets me two Markalites, if I, I leave it right now. Mm -hmm. And then you're hoping to get three more Markalites from the rest of your armor. I think I will spend it now. Fair enough. There you go. There we go. So that's, that's a total of four. You need one more Markalite to hit max. Sweet. Um, then I'm going to just start with... Before you move on to anyone else shooting, do you want to roll... Two D6 and on sixes get those command points back. Ah. Or one of them back. Yes, fair enough. For Pure was, Tide Engram. Yes, Pure Tide Engram. Six ups, I get those uh, command points back. No. No, I don't get either of those back. Which brings you down to me at five. Oh no. Um, who am I going to throw stuff into next? All right, and for uh, this guy here, he's gonna actually going to be hitting on a four with that Markalite. So. Here's hoping. That's a one. So he doesn't make it, and he's out of range. Rerolls. Reroll ones for Markalites. Yes. He's learning. Still a one. Still a one. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, it doesn't matter. And then that's it for him because he Won't only hit. has a pistol, and he's out of range. Uh, who's next? I'll go with group of five. They have one Markalite. Okay. And then the rest of their shots are going into As well. him. So, Markalite, hitting on, I believe, a six. 
Uh, or a five. Be a five now because you ignore the penalties of moving and firing a heavy weapon. Sweet. So that does hit. I've got all the marker lights. Mm -hmm. Now everything has plus one to hit. Yay! So you're ignoring my minus one to hit. Now. Yay! All right, and then four. Yeah, just four pulse, pulse rifles. rifles. Hitting on now. Fours. Fours. Three rolling ones. Yay! Three rolling ones. hits, and wounding on five versus six. Six, so five. fives. No. Fair Sad face. Um, and I think I'll do these two groups uh, just at the same time, going into the same target. Yeah. Alright, so 12 shots from them, going into the Catacomb Command Barge, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, all. It's not terrible. That's perfectly statistical. It's, it's, it's half. And then wounding on fives. You should get two. Yeah, I got, three. I, got, I got three. Yay. Slightly better. So three possible wounds, no AP. Three up save. Oh, that's not a great roll. Um, no, I'll, I'll save it for uh, when you actually fire fusions. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So next up in this group is going to be the uh, actual ion rifles that definitely have the range for it. Uh, so I'm just going to do the 3d3 number of shots now. Four, not great. Three, two, and one. And I'll just go like this way. So he's getting three, he's getting two, he's getting one. So starting with a three. Hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, which is very important. Damn it, well, he's dead. Still dead. Still dead. You got one hit. Got one hit. Next guy, just get all the hits out of the way first. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, next guy with two, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Oh my god, I swear. Good. Two hits, so you have three hits so far. And then the last one, he just misses. All right, so wounding on threes. For one. one. Start off with Lightning Shield Invul of a four. And I'll take it. Okay. So, no damage, and one of those three sniper dudes is dead from overcharging his gun. Blah, the one that actually looked nice. With the big gun. Um, so that's it for over here. He doesn't have a gun, so he can't shoot. So on to your... Um, I'm supposed to go suits. with the sniper oh, you mean next. Sniper? Okay. Uh, so currently he's hitting on a four. What's he targeting? Oh, same target. Fair enough. Uh, hitting on a four with his long shot pulse rifle, or ion rifle, or whatever it's called. Ah, damn it. You need a six to I need a six to wound. So he hits and wounding on... A five, because you said it was only, what, strength four? Yeah, it was... I think it was strength five. It's basically a pulse rifle. Oh, strength five then, in which case it's, it's still... wounding on a five. Wounding on a five. Eight wounded. Wound. With no the, AP. With no AP, a three up save. Hey, I shouldn't have brought you. Or more accurately, you were just points filler. Yeah. Uh, next on to uh, these two groups. All right, start with uh, these two group or these two uh, stealth suits, battle suits going into same target. Hitting on fours with their uh, fusion blasters. So hitting on fours for one hit and re rolling ones. Two hits. And for wounding, it's roll two, uh, take the highest. That's damage. Wounding is for just damage, a, sorry. Wounding is just a normal roll. Wounding is just a normal roll. Uh, so wounding on a three for one. Okay. And then four up in Valse from Lightning Shield. Damn. All right, and then next is this group, which I'll start with its, its fusion blasters as well. Two shots hitting on fours, rolling ones, uh, one hit, wounding on threes. That's a one. I think finishing it off, I've got 16 shots from the burst cannons for the rest of this group, going into the same target. So, uh, hitting on fours. Four re 
rolling ones. Where to go? Those miss. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits. And then I think it's strength five still, so wounding on fives. Yep. Four, two. Sad face. I was hoping to do some substantial damage to uh, the hard to kill thing. And three up saves. One more goes through. Okay. I think that's literally everything has now fired. I'm not charging anything. I don't think you could if you wanted to. No. So, uh, I believe that's the end of my turn. Alright, uh, turn two movement for the Necrons. My Stalker doesn't need to move because Mike was kind enough to make sure there's still units within range for him to shoot at. Yeah. Uh, minor misread from the rules when I was reading off the, how the game works. It's at the end of turn two, everything automatically comes in, so I just skipped rolling for it. Yeah. Uh, so he's on. He can't really do anything this turn, but at least he's on the board. Fair enough. Move the 12 inches forward with the Catacomb Command Barge. And I think I missed, while going over my list, saying it should be on the screen that I spent one command point to give Veil Darkness. You, you said it. I did? I'm pretty sure. Well, if I didn't, uh, I'm saying it now. He had Veil Darkness. I used its one-time ability to teleport himself and the Warriors up, getting just outside of nine inches for basically those units there, and getting ready to get some rapid-fire shots in. Fair enough. And that is it for movement. I... Regen one wound, obviously, from Living Metal, yep. but couldn't do Wave of Command. Fair enough. I'm surprised you didn't do the... Never mind, it's not a command point. Ignore me. Yes. And with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and have this guy go ahead and fire his two shots into the squad right there. The uh, just two? Oh, just two. Okay. So two shots, hitting on fours. One hit, one miss. Wounding on a two. Successfully wounded, you have a six up save. Six up! No. And d6 damage. He's yes. dead! Leaving just the leader left, I believe. Yep. Alright, and next up to shoot is going to be my Cryptek. He's going to fire his three shots into the Pathfinders right there. So three shots, hitting on threes. Well, no. Doesn't no. really matter. That's three misses. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my warrior line and I'm going to actually, since they're in rapid fire, both of these, five of them are going to rapid fire into the back line, five are going to rapid fire into the front line. Fair enough. So ten shots on each. Yep. All right. I'll start off with the ten shots going into your back line. Fair enough. Hitting on threes. Ooh, that was not a particularly great roll, but it wasn't also bad either. Only missed four. Three. Oh, sorry, three. I thought it was worse because I just I immediately saw the ones and twos. Ah. And then wounding on threes because you're only tough three. Four. Five wounds with AP minus one. All right. So it'll be five five ups. Of which I make one. So four are going to go down. Ugh. Ugh. All right, well... One. Now, you do have two Guardian Drones right there. Ooh, you're two, right. Up, you can move the it to a Mortal Wound on the Guardian Drone, and it has a 5-up combo pain. Okay, so... You have to do these one at a time. Yep. Well, technically, you do it two at a time. You do have two Guardian Drones right there. True. Hmm. Or do you want to say the Guardian Drones for, like, your characters? Or, like, this squad? If they get shot at and not missed. <laughs> and not missed. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll run one right now. I'm, I'm okay. running off of this one. So, yeah. first two up. Okay, it goes on the drone. So, five up, feel no pain. Five up, feel no pain. No, it's dead. So, okay. you save one of the wounds. Well, poop. So, three are dead. Because I'm not moving on to the other one. Okay. Set face. The ten shots going into the other unit that is in the front. Hitting on threes. Well, that time, I got five hits. 
It's too bad my uh, re-rolling ones guy is nowhere near being able to put shots all the way down here. <laughs> and then threes to whoop. I will take, however, five wounds again. Damn it. All right, well, I might have to do the same thing again. Five, five ups. You made two this time. I made two this time, so... Three are dead. Do you want to put any onto the remaining Guardian drone? Or you can put it on the Pulse Accelerator drone, but he doesn't have the field on pain. I'll do with... Try and put some on the other Guardian drone. Okay. So one at a time. Two up. All right, it's on the drone. Five up. Nope. Going to Damn it. Well, you did effectively save a Fire Warrior, so you only lose two from the unit. Yeah. Okay. But either way. Damn it, I lost my drones. Well, that's kind of their job. It just yeah. Would have been nice to get a and more. Five up. At least one more uh, save off of them. Still got a couple left. Yeah. All right, and then. I think he's all that's left. Yeah, and he's just going to go ahead and shoot the big squad with his Tesla. Ah, uh, the group of four. Yep. Tesla. Uh, wait, hold on. I just want to make sure. Okay, good. He, he's the leader. the leader. Yep. Tesla going in, hitting on twos. Uh, cocked or? Uh, All right. I'll just take him. So three Sorry, hits. Nice. Wounding on twos because strength six versus tough three. For two wounds. No, no AP, so you're four ups. Two, four ups. Made, Made both. both. Okay. Can't make a five up, but five up can make a four up. Uh, and then that should be it for you shooting. Shoot. So yep. your charge. Yeah, um, I was kind of hoping to get first blood over here. Um, yeah, so he's actually just going to backtrack and charge just him. Okay. And you're out of range for greater good of anything else. No. So, uh, one shot on a six, overwatch. No, that's a one. Okay, his charge distance. As if it matters. Uh, that four already makes it. Yeah, so. A nine makes it. <laughs> a nine super makes it. Okay, and I'm going to actually declare charge with the warriors into your fire warriors. And since you're going to overwatch with everything anyway, they're going to do a multi-charge into everything. Cool. I need dice. All right, so overwatch. I'm going to start with... Uh, Everyone with pulse rifles here, which is the two strike teams and the one Cadre fire blade. So, 16 shots hitting on sixes for, it looks like, three. Yeah. One, two, and three. Yep. And then wounding on threes for two. Yeah. Two, four up saves. So two go down from that. Four shots from the pulse carbines, hitting on sixes. So one, and then wounding on, I believe, also threes. Yep. For one more possible wound. Four up save. Made that one. All right. And then for these two, do, do you want to fire them in their heavy profile? No. All right, so for their uh, ion, bl what is it, ion blasters? Ion rifles, I think. Ion rifles. Uh, two shots in their lower profile, hitting on sixes still, for one, and wounding on a... Three still. Three. So you're not double. No. Okay, that's one of them. The rapid fire one, 30 inch range. Oh, yeah. So in the other one, hitting on sixes, wounding on three... AP minus one. Five up save. Made it. Aw. Nope. Yeah, okay. And then no one else has guns over there. Yep. Charge distance. Eleven. I think you made it. Considering I needed a nine inch charge. All right. And then now that almost all his guys, excluding him, is tied up in melee, my Cryptek's going to declare a multi-charge on everyone, because technically if I declare a charge there, you can do greater good for him anyway. Yep. So... I get at least one Overwatch. Yeah, two. Two shots. Two shots, yes. So, two shots hitting on a six. No, you're good. Charge! No. 
Uh, even if I get a six there, that's an eight inch charge that's outside of the nine inches. Okay. Minimum. And I think you would require a 10 inch charge anyway. Okay, well. Fight phase. Yeah. Not worried about him doing any damage right there. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the Necron Warriors. That is entirely fair enough. All right, and starting with swinging ends for these guys, I'm putting two into the Pathfinders, hitting on threes. Both hits. Strength four versus tough three, so wounding on threes. None. Hmm. Then two into the uh, three man squad. One hit, and wounding on a three. No wound, please. Uh, can I have some threes pluses on some wounds here? And then four attacks going into the full squad, hitting on threes. Two hits, and then wounding on threes. Yay, two wounds. I'll take it. Two four ups. Yep. You, you failed get, one. Ah, uh, you, you got one. Yeah. Blip. Okay. Um, and then your attacks over there. I'll consolidate the unit. Okay. So I'm not going to spend. You, two, want, you no. don't want to spend any commit? No. All right. He will do nothing to you. All right, three attacks from the War Scythe, hitting on threes because you're minus one to hit. Two successful hits. And then wounding on threes, because strength seven. One wound, AP minus four, it goes straight through because you don't have cover. It does minimum two damage. Yep, so he's dead. And, All right, then, and then it's my turn. Consolidate over towards them. Yep. Can you make it far enough for me to actually attack you with them? No, it's a three-inch consolidate. Oh, okay. So. He's basically just down the hill. Basically. All right, so I have a bunch of attacks. All right, so first up in my attacks back is going to be the Ethereal attacking in to the only thing he can attack, the Warriors. He's got three attacks hitting on threes with his Honor Blade, where I miss once, and then wounding on threes for two possible wounds. Two four saves. Um, that'll make four. You know what? I'm going to command point one of them. I got five. Oh, I still lost one. All right, so two dead. And then everyone else. I'm just grouping all the rest because they don't have melee weapons and they've got all got the same stat block. So hitting on fives. Four, one, two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then wounding on fives. Four, three. Three. Okay. All right, I better see some uh, fours here. I don't think I've made any in this fight fight sequence. So, four saves. All right, I'll lose one more. Okay. Boop. Boop. And then that's it. Nothing else is directly in melee. Mm-hmm. Sure. I believe that's the end of your turn. I. You don't need to worry about failing morale because of your super leadership bubble bonus. Yes. Uh, they took five casualties, so leadership 10 down to five, so on a six, I'll one, please. No. no. All right, so on to Tau turn two. All right, so Tau movement. Um, I guess I'll start over here. I had this group of uh, assault team just go up onto the uh, cover. Everyone involved in this melee retreated, moved back. Them getting up nice up onto the the cover, the hill. And the Kadra Fireblade did not move, so he still got his two up for uh, firing. Marklight. Marklight, thank you, Tom. The stealth battlesuit team shifted over, making it so that he is the closer model. Doesn't quite matter it was character and character, but... Fair enough. <clears throat> Just wanted to make sure. And didn't move. Yeah. So, on to... Ah! Does his thing happen even if he retreated? I would imagine so. Let me go read that and make sure. Yep, so it doesn't matter whether or not he uh, retreated or not. So I'm going to be using Sense of Stone, which basically gives... Everyone near him, a uh, six up feeling the pain. Yep. Which is pretty good. So, on to shooting, which is for Markalites. So, I'm going to start with the Kadra going into the Cryptech. 
So hitting on a two up, because he did not move. Good thing he didn't move. So two up, and then I'm going to be using the command point um, that basically gets me d3 plus one. Yeah. So d3. That's still that's still one. So that's two. Do you want to spend another command point? Ah, uh, it's just on the one guy. Right now, all you're doing is getting rerolling ones, and I think um, the seeker missile bonus. So I think the second tier is just seeker missile at full ballistic skill. Which he's not in cover. No. So I really only need the rerolling ones. If you get to a four, you ignore the moving and firing heavy weapons, which I don't think you have any heavy weapons. I have them. But I'm not going to shoot those at him. Yeah. I mean, your other marker light might have the bonus. Yeah. From this squad. Nah. So just going with that? Getting I'm, two. Just, I'm just going with that. Getting two on him. And next for marker lights is going to be this guy right here going into the Necron Warriors right there. So on a now four up, I believe. No, he's three base. He's three base. There's no penalties at Yeah, oh, you're right. So three up. Oh, what? I, he did not. So, Do you I will command point this one. Okay. You got, got it. So, rerolling ones on the warriors and the crypt deck. Yes, and then I don't need any other ones specifically on those two. So, my last Markalite. Remember, you have to fire the whole unit. I have to fire the whole unit. I think I'll actually leave it there. Okay. I actually have to measure. I'm pretty sure that he's closer to... Yeah, the cryptic is way closer than the warriors, so the stealth team can shoot at either character. Okay, sweet. So I'm going to put three of their, uh, well, not battle cannons. Burst cannons. Burst cannons into the group of Necron warriors. Okay. And then the last one, uh, last burst cannon into the cryptic, and then the two uh, fusion blasters into the big guy. All right, so I've got 12 shots going from them into the Necron Warriors, hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Ooh, got three rerolls. Four, one, two, three. Only four hits. Sad face. And then wounding on threes for all wounds. All right, four up saves because no AP. I make two fail two. Burst cannon going into the cryptech. Four shots hitting on fours. You're rolling ones. Ah, so only two. And then wounding on should still be threes. Correct. For no. Sad face. And then the fusion rifles. Fusion. Blasters going into the thing that I really should just stop shooting at. The Catacomb Command Barge. Catacomb Command Barge. So two shots hitting on fours, fives, because he's hard to hit. Yep. Okay. One hit. And then wounding on, I believe, a three. three. Wounds. Okay. Four up in vault. Sweet. Uh, and then... That's 2d6. Take the highest. Yes. 2d6. Which would be 6. Quantum shielding on a 5 or below. Damn. <sighs> Quantum shielding is so good. <laughs> it is. It's so unbelievably um, good. Stacked with a 4-up invol. So oh. you can just... And a, oh. a decent 3-up to begin with. It's a tank. Yeah. Alright, next is going to be the group up on the hill. Firing all of its shots into. Yeah. They yes, they close. are still closer. Firing all of their shots into Dem. Can they actually shoot Dem? Is there a line of sight? Alright, so next and pretty much last is going to be the uh, sniper drone as the group on top of the hill actually does not have line of sight of the uh, Necron Warriors, which are closer than the Cryptex, so they can't shoot at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so, firing one shot from the Sniper Drone into the Warriors, because it doesn't matter, because Living Metal. Yep. So, hitting on a four, hits, 
And wounding on a three? Because it's strength five. So. Yep, wounding on a three. Hey, wounds. Wounds. No AP. No AP. Warp save. No. Would you look at that? All right, well, there was that lackluster shooting phase. I'm half tempted to charge with my Kadra Fireblade. Half. Six shots overwatch, I can possibly... Easily. Easily. So, uh, that'll be the end. I end my turn. All right, before I get anything done in the movement phase, I need to reanimate these guys. And on fives, I'll get three back. Not bad. All right, movement phase for turn three. Um, Black Stalker was literally out of range of everything, so he moved his ten inches forward to get into range and continue to press the advance. Calicum Command Barge, the resurrected Necron Warriors moved up a little bit. Cryptech joined behind them. And flying across the board, my Night Scythe. Next turn, people will come out of it. Yes, and then I will cry. But for now, right there, ready to do a 90 degree turn and then fly away. Cycles. So that is all of that. Once again, out of range for any My Will Be Done's wave of commands. So on to the shooting phase. He's going to go ahead and fire into the stealth suits. He's going to be hitting on fives. Hey, I hit one. And then wounding on a two. Wounded! Um, you're not in cover. I'm not, so it just goes right through. D6 damage. For six. Blah! Okay. He did. Uh, next up, the Crypt Tech is going to fire at the Pathfinders. Okay. Three shots hitting on threes. Hey, he actually hit. And then wounding on threes. One wound with AP minus two, so you have a six up save. Oh no. Six up. Well, it's a dead Pathfinder. I will choose regular, any regular, dude. regular dude. Okay. Uh, and then. These six Necron Warriors are going to go next, and they're just going to shoot all of their shots into the three-man squad that is right there. Okay, so that three-man squad. Yep. Twelve shots, hitting on threes. With nine hits, and then wounding on threes. That wasn't good. Good thing I put them all in the same squad. I got four wounds. Ugh. Fives? Yep, five ups. And you fail them all. All right, so that's a dead group. Yeah. All right, next up is going to be my uh, Lord here. Or, I'm sorry, my Cataclysm Man Barge, and he's going to fire into them. All right. Yeah, he'll shoot into them. That's three shots, hitting on threes because of minus one, but rerolling once. All successfully hit. No Tesla because of minus one. And then wounding on threes. For two wounds. No AP, obviously, because of Tesla. All right. Two four-ups. Yeah. Yep. Two four-ups. For two wounds. Two wounds. One so down. another one dead. Another one bites the dust. I'll make your charge slightly more annoying. Oh, no. I need, like, a four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he's going to go ahead and fire next, and he's just going to put his eight shots down into them. Fair enough. And hitting on threes, Tesla-ing on sixes for his two Tesla Destructors. With three misses. This was a three. And one Tesla. All right. So basically, I missed once. Ugh. And Where did that come from? My finger went up. <laughs> and then wounding on twos, because it's strength seven. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. You missed once. I missed once. Well, failed to wound once. Okay. I have trouble with the buildings. You're, you're having trouble with the uh, natural terrain. Yeah, so six wounds on them, and I guess they'll have a three-up save because it's no AP on a Tesla Destructor. All right, so uh, six three-ups. For two go down. Okay. 
Uh, and that's going to be it for shooting. Because I think literally think everything I've on the board has shot now. So, charge into them. Alright. Overwatch. Uh... First off, the burst cannons. Eight shots hitting on sixes. Four, one. And if you can't tell, it's a five over in the corner. And wounding on a five. Five. A tough six. Wounds. Thrip save. Made it. Ah. And your yeah. two fusions. Yep. And my two fusions. Just hitting on sixes. For one. Wounding on three. No. Ooh. I needed that. And an eight-inch charge. Hey, you made it. All right, and then next up, um, they're going to declare a charge onto just these two units, so you don't get the ability to overwatch with these guys for the greater good. Okay. You can overwatch with these dudes, because they're within six. Can I gloriously intervene with him? I mean, if you want to. Mm, why not? Okay. Sip. Eight shots going in, hitting on sixes. Not a one. All right, next for Overwatch is the Pathfinder team. I'm going to have start with the, about to say Plasma Carbine, Pulse Carbine, going in with its two shots, hitting on sixes, no, and then the four shots from the two Ion uh, rifles in the lower powered mode, hitting on sixes. One. One. Wounding on... A three. That's strength seven. Yes. Wounding on a three. Wounds. AP minus one. Five up save. Nope. Yay. I got one. Flip. And then that, that's it for Overwatch. Yeah. Charge. Made it. Five. You needed a one. Basically. And the Cryptek? Yeah, the Cryptek will now go ahead and charge. Oh, should I gloriously intervene now? Or? Yeah. If you want to. Yep. You'd... Don't need to roll it. You move a max of three inches and a gloriously intervene. And if okay. that's enough to get within one inch, you can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah. So, boop. All right. And then the Cryptek going to go ahead and, I guess, multi-charge everything here. You already did your greater good, so you can't do it again. Yep. And a seven. And it absolutely makes it. And you can go all the way around. And even put attacks into this dude. All the way in the back. All right, and uh, any, nothing else? No, there's nothing else to charge. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the warriors, and they're just going to go ahead and put all their attacks into your um, regular dudes there. All right. So five attacks, hitting on threes, and then wounding on threes. For three. No AP, obviously. And that'd be three... Four-ups. Three four-ups. Oh, made almost all of them. Yes. So one guy eats it. Do you want to... No, I don't want to pull my leader. And do I want to... Interrupt any of her? Um... Nah. Okay. Um... You're too far away to attack my cadre and them. Yes. So... How many points do I have? Three now? Yeah, you have three at the moment. Because you have five there. That'd be two, it. so no, I'll hold on to it. Okay. Uh, the Cryptic, one attack. He's going to go put it into the Pulse Accelerator drone. Oh, no. Not the Pulse Accelerator drone, now that you're all close ranged. Hitting on a three. He hit. Wounding on a four. No. Okay. And then, big guy. Big guy. He's going to put his three attacks into the stealth suits, hitting on threes, because the minus one hit. All successfully hit. And then wounding on threes. Okay, so for two misses, one successful. I'm going to go ahead and spend a command point. I got, bring me down to four. That's a one. That's still a one. All right. So that's just one dead. AP minus four with two damage. Oh, yeah. Bleh. And then... Just to keep you guys locked in combat, I will consolidate. Not like it matters, you'll fly away. Yeah, and then I'll move in to get the maximum number of attacks. 
And I might as well start over there. All right, so uh, starting with my attacks back over here, I've got seven attacks back with the stealth battle suits hitting on fives. Four, three. And then wounding on fives as well. For two. Two three-up saves. Uh, makes it and makes it. Ethereal will go next with his three attacks going in, hitting on threes. threes for all three hit. And then wounding on threes. 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 So two possible wounds. Two four up saves. Ooh, double ones. So bring down two more. And next for the Kadra Fireblade, he's got three attacks, hitting on threes for one hit, and wounding on a five. No, and because I didn't say it, I was attacking the Warriors because he's too far away from the mm -hmm. Crypt Tech. Two attacks into the Warriors with the fire uh, strike, team. strike Team. So hitting on fives, one hit, wounding on fives, no. I think you have one more attack because one of them is your sergeant, isn't you're it? You're right. I've... Or your sergeant equivalent. Your Shaz Wee. Yeah, you're right. It's this guy. So, one more attack. Hit and wounding on a five. Wounds. Four up save. Made yeah. it. Didn't matter. Came out in the wash. Um, That's it. I don't think there's anything else. Um... We're too small in units now to worry about morale, yes? Um, you started off with... I lost three, so I'm down to leadership seven, so I'm good. The one squad that remaining lost one with leadership eight, so they're, they're at seven. Yeah, and then the... Group over there lost three, three. This, this turn, so they have to worry about it, because I think they could fail on a six. All right, so morale for them. Actually, I take it back. You have body knife ritual. You ought to pass on sixes. Okay, well, that's good, because I rolled a six. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the Tau things have bonding knife ritual, which means a six is counted as an insta-pass for morale. Yep. All right, so that's it for your turn. On to my turn, turn three. All right, so Tau movement for turn three. Uh, stayed put, just kind of rotated in place to look better. Um... Moved back out of combat to shoot in. Moved back out of combat. A little bit more for him, just to be in line for shooting-wise. And uh, moved forward to charge later, if the group up top fails to kill them. Hey, Tom. What? Does his feel no pain affect the whole round? Yes. Okay. Then I forgot some things. Yes, you forgot four feel no pains? Yeah. Oh well. I'm going to turn that one on for him again. Yeah. And then hopefully not forget about it. So, uh, starting shooting, I'm going to have all the different Markolites go in. He can't because he moved back. So, I'm going to fire one Markolite off from him, going into the Warriors. Hitting on a three. Hitting on a three. Miss. That's a miss. Command point. Five is a hit. Do you get it back? Uh, do I get it back? No! This whole squad shoot down at them. Six attacks, hitting on fours. Rerolling ones, which didn't come up. Uh, wounding on threes. Yep. Four. Oh, one. Four up save! Yeah! Darn it. Uh, and then... They're going to also shoot at that group. All right, so after checking lines of sight, all three of them can see this group here. So I'm actually going to be firing with the um, ion rifles first, considering that one of them is the farthest back. So if he pulls models, you might not be able to see him anymore. So um, he's got D3 number of shots for both of those. Is it supercharging? Because I am supercharging them. For six mm, shots. Six shots. Three each. 
So three for the far back one, that guy, hitting on fours. For yeah, it's still, it's still yeah. four. Hitting on fours for them, re-rolling ones. Rerolling the one. Yes, not dead. Right, and that's that's two gun. hits. And then the second gun, hitting on fours, rerolling ones. For two hits. For two hits. So four hits in total. And then wounded on twos to strength eight. Yay, twos. For all wound. All right, well, that's four five ups. Well, I failed two, so there is one model left. All right. And then should be two shots from the carbine user hitting on fours. And then wounding on threes. One possible wound. One four up save. Midham. Yay, warrior's still alive. Okay, well, sniper, do anything. Okay. So he's going to fire in next. He's got one shot hitting on a now four because the drone controller is out of range. So hitting on four, no. Continues to be the most Could effective unit in the game. Yep. I uh, don't believe I have anyone else with a shooting attack available for over here. Um, I mean, I suppose I could throw the one burst cannon over in that direction. Yeah, it should be with an 18, I would imagine. Wood, 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 wood. 18? Yeah, if you really want to kill the unit, he is definitely within 18. Uh, well, I say definitely kill the unit, it's four it's shots. It's a possibility, so screw it. I just I want to see it. Before you roll, where's your other shots going? Oh, him. Okay. Because the cryptex out of range. So, four shots into the uh, Necron Warrior, because I want to kill at least one unit of Toms. Uh, so, four shots hitting on fours. Four, one. We're rolling ones. We're rolling ones. Two. Even better. Wounding on threes. For one. one possible wound. One four up save. Damn Made it. it. God damn it. All right, and then the two shots going into the uh, Catacomb Command Barge, hitting on fours, fives, either way. And that's it. Okay. Um, I'm declaring a charge into your one Necron Warrior. Just the Necron Warrior? Just the Necron Warrior. Okay. Two Overwatch shots, hitting on sixes. Snickers. Right, and my charge, oh. I'm declaring the charge with the ethereal. Yeah. Just I figured I'd declare that with an 11. Made it in. And my three attacks. Gloriously intervene. Oh no. Ah, hello. Hello. I'll poke you once. <laughs> three attacks going in. Hitting on threes. And wounding on, I think, threes as well. No. Yeah. Because he's got a crap strength. He has a strength five weapon, doesn't he? Yes, you're right. So, winning on threes. For two. two. No AP. Two forp saves. Made one, failed one. Command point. Oh, Aha! Man, on. Take that, you regenerating metal skeletons. All right. Cryptex, one attack. Hitting on three. Yeah. Wounding on a three. No. no. All right. And then I don't think there's anything for morale. So... Okay. On to your turn, turn four. All right, for turn four movement, um, basically continuing to press into as much Mike's back line as possible. Catacomb command barge moved over. The two guys from, two units from within the night site disembarked, spending one command point for enhanced invasion beams, which allows me to pull two out instead of just one at a time. And the Cryptech fell back out of combat, getting behind the Immortals over here. Getting ready just to put some shots in where they might be needed. And way in the back, the Trox Stalker did not move because he's still within range of things to shoot at at this point. Yeah. And speaking of which... Oh, and once again, nothing within range for Wave of Command, and I didn't need to regenerate anyone this turn. Because so, I finally got a kill. Yes. 
So we'll start off shooting with the five immortals here shooting into the Pathfinders. All right. Ten shots coming out of them, and they're going to be hitting on threes, Tesla lighting on sixes. Four, one, two, four, five misses, but with one Tesla effectively just missing three times. And then threes to wound with their strength five guns. Four, four wounds. No AP on Tesla. All right. So for for them, five ups. Because mm -hmm. we're on the same hill. No They're bonus. all dead. Yeah. Do you want to try to shift wounds onto the Guardian drone? At this point, sure. Two up. So wounds shifted to the Guardian drone. I'm, I'm shifting wounds to the Guardian drone. Yeah, sorry. And five up. No pain. Nope. All right, so uh, they're still dead. Do you want to try to command point it? I suppose. Command point. No. He's still dead. Okay. So. Valiant effort of the Guardian drone, but it didn't make any of your fives up feel nothing. And he just kind of added to it. Yeah. It's like, look out! No! Ah, bleh. Do you get that command point, by the way? I haven't gotten a single one. one. <laughs> Could you pass me that dice? Next up to shoot is going to be the Cryptek firing into them. Three shots hitting on threes. Ah, for two hits. Almost got them all. And wounding on threes. For two wounds, AP minus two. So you're... Six ups. Six ups. Two six ups. Made one. Like one that survives. Um, you. Did you just open up an, an arcway for these guys? So... They're five inches. They're yeah. also so five inches. So it's equal, so I can choose. Okay. So these guys are going to put all their shots into your... Uh, not your leader. Ethereal. Ten shots going into the Ethereal. Hitting on threes. For two misses, but three Tesla. Mm -hmm. So that makes up for that. And then... Was this a two, or was this a three and a knock? I don't know. I'll say it was a miss. Just makes it back anyway. And then... That, so effectively, I made three extra hits than I ro rolled to shoot with. Tesla's so good. Yeah. And then, wounding on threes. For two. Misses. And then six, nine, eleven wounds on him. No AP, of course, but I don't mm. think he has a good save. No, would you mind checking? So that'll be eleven five ups. This would be beautiful if it happens. Expect it if it doesn't. Almost, actually. Yeah, you failed That's six. Out of his four. I need six. Five ups. So the two fours, the one three, three, three. Okay, yeah, sorry. You did make half of them. I did. Well, Most were sixes. Yeah. So, but he's still dead. He's still dead. Um, I did six wounds to him. He has six six up feel no pains. Right. So did other people, but... Not this unit. Possibly them. I had one of that unit here. So they could have. Yeah. But at this point, I keep forgetting about it, so it's too late. Yeah, they would have been in range. But you can do it now, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. You need to make so three of these. I'm just going to do them all at the same time. You did not make any. I did not make any. He is dead. All right. He's That's dead, Jim. Six up, feel no pains. No! Okay. And then who is shooting else what? <laughs> yeah, English. It's my second language. The first one's bad English. <laughs> yes, it's my language. Um, my leader's going to go ahead and put all his shots in these two. Okay. Three shots, hitting on twos. Two hits, wounding on twos. One successful. One four up. Made it. Okay. Uh, he's going to go ahead and fire next into these three. All right. He did not move this time, so he's hitting on fours. Ooh, good thing. And then wounding on twos. Uh, 
Uh, did I spend a command point yet? I don't think so. So I'll spend a command point now. I think that brings me down to one. Yeah. And it's of course going to go straight through because of AP minus four. So that's just two kind of. Uh, we'll have to do them one at a time because D three D six damage. Yes. One dead, two dead, leaving just a leader left. Yep. He's going to go ahead and just fire all his shots into him. Okay. So eight shots, hitting on fours. No Tesla, though. Ooh. Uh, for three successful hits. And then wounding on threes. Two. All right, and two four-ups. He's dead. Yep. Um, GG? <laughs> I, mean, I got charges to declare. You got charges to declare. Which would be this Them and going that, in. Him going in, these going in. Him just going around and kind of zapping that on his way out. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm good. GG. <laughs> You've got four fire warriors, a fire blade, a pulse accelerator drone, and the things that really didn't do anything. No. I've got a Markalite. That, that's what I've got up here. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, definitely, as you said earlier, I'm not sure if we were recording it or not at the time, but uh, my main issue is I brought Broken Step and a whole bunch of Assault. assault which don't benefit from any of the Broken Step bonuses. No. I also played super aggressive. Yes. I wasn't expecting that from uh, Necrons. I, I normally don't expect the, I'm going to come over there and beat the crap out of you Necrons. Yeah, I was... Basically in charge range turn... Well, I was charging turn one because it got real close. Yes. But turn two really got things in charge range. Yeah, and I shouldn't have put them over there because it, it, the points only matter at the end. end. Yeah. And I I should have put them just over here and just kind of assaulted from back. Yeah. Oh, my God. But I definitely feel like I want to run Tau again and just try and make it so I don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> to putting fair, it... Fair enough. Uh, mildly. I uh, recommend a drone port. They are fun. Fair enough. I will try that. And possibly something with anti-tank other than the fusion blasters. Yeah. Uh, maybe some uh, crisis suits. Yeah. I don't know. But either way, hope you enjoyed this uh, battle and have a good one.